In this video, I will show you how to appear offline on Valorant. So let's jump straight into it. In order to do this, what you're going to want to do first is open up a new browser and come across to google.com. In the Google search box, go ahead and type download to save Valorant. Now, what you want to do is click onto the top result, which is going to be this GitHub link up here. And then from here, what you're going to want to do is just scroll all the way down to the bottom and underneath assets, you want to download deceive.exe, so this folder here. So now we've got that downloaded, if you can't see it up here, if you're using a different browser, just come down to your search box down in the bottom left-hand corner, click downloads, and you'll be able to find your download folder to go ahead and open that and find deceive.exe. So once you've got that downloaded, what you want to do now is go ahead and come down to your search bar, go ahead and type Valorant into the search box, and underneath best match, you want to right click onto the Valorant app and click onto open file location. What you next want to do once you've got this folder opened is copy and paste that deceive.exe file we just downloaded into this folder. Next, what you want to do is highlight the deceive file, right click and then create a shortcut, which is down here. And again on the shortcut, what you want to do is highlight, right click and come down and click onto properties. So in this window, you want to make sure you're on the shortcut tab. So if you look at these tabs at the top, you want to make sure you're on shortcut. And in this box, which says target, what you want to do is click onto this. And after these two exclamation marks, you want to put a space and then put Valorant. When that's done, go ahead and click apply and OK. And when you next start Valorant, you'll now be showing as offline. So I hope this quick tutorial helped you out today and if it did I'd really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.